everybody, welcome to Daisy. Welcome to a rooftop in Chernus. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can use VPP admin tools, Vanilla Plus Plus admin tools, to actually edit your types that XML. So edit the loot economy of your server, kind of in a live environment, but most importantly, in a visual environment where you can actually see where the stuff is. Okay, so. Uh, VPP admin tools, unfortunately this is just for PC at the moment, so you can just use it on your remote server. In this case we're going to be looking at Nitrado server, or you can lose it, use it on your local server. Um, and in the description below this video I'll put a link to VPP admin, and I'll put a link to uh, my how to install Vanilla++ admin tools on a local and remote server. And also to a nice video by uh, Mr. John Marshall, which I watched just to give me a little bit of info about something I wasn't quite sure about. So make sure you visit him and you subscribe and like and maybe even comment on his video. Okay, so VPP admin does lots and lots of different things. But once you've installed it, one of the really cool things you can do is, and I'm on a live Nitrado server in the web here. You can, once it's activated, you can bring it up and then in the main menu, if we quick click on XML editor, we can then look for things. So in this case, let's have a look for, say, um, what might we want to do? So cans of Pipsy. So let's have a look for Pipsy. So we type Pipsy and it says soda can Pipsy. So we select that. What we can do, if we type, if we click on load selected, this tells us what the current settings are in the types.xml file that we're looking at. So it says there should be 10 of them um, and the minimum of six. What I really like is there's little tool tips as well that tell you what all these things mean. So it helps you to understand what types.xml actually does. And then if we click on get item stats, we can actually see where everything is. So you go, oh right, okay, so this is this is where soda can pipsies spawn. Which is really good, isn't it? Because when we're in our types the XML and you're just changing things and you're looking at usage name military, usage name village, usage name town and stuff like that, it's not, you know, it's not that obvious. This is a really nice way of doing it. But not only can you find things like this and see where they are, and that also includes uh, for event things like animals as well. I'll let you play around with that yourself. We can also edit the types to XML. So if you're not sure about it, what happens is the file that controls um, the amount of things that are going to spawn on your server is called types to XML. It's in the DB directory of your mission folder on your server. Uh, very important file, very large file, um, and there's lots of different ways of editing. But this is a this is a nice way of doing it. So what we can do, we can actually say, okay. So that, that's that's quite a few cans of Pipsy. That's all right, but I won't mind if there was some more. You know, I know the players on my server that they like the taste of tips, Pipsy. So what we could do, we could change the nominal to 20, and then we might want to change the minimum to say, I don't know, 15. So that, oop, not 158, so they spawn in. So you always want to have the nominal is kind of how many should be on the server, and the minimum is 15. Now, there's a couple of different questions about how minimum works. So it could be the fact that um, when the server gets to 15, it then restocks all the way back up to 20. Um, and in fact, the tooltip says, if an amount of items of this type reach below this value in the world, they get spawned to nominal again. Okay, yeah, so the idea is that it goes down and then, then jumps back up again. Now, the other things we've got here is lifetime. So this is how long something in seconds hangs around before it disappears and respawns somewhere else, as long as nobody doesn't touch it. So all these cans of Pipsy that you see, they they hang around, as long as no one picks one up, for 14,000 seconds. And then the um, server will get rid of them and then spawn them in somewhere else, because obviously they could spawn in lots and lots of different places. Uh, what else have we got? Restock is the, um, uh, the bulk side of it. Um, and the cost is always at 100. Minimum, uh, quant min and quant max applies to items that have stuff inside them. For example, uh, magazines, weapon magazines, you would set that, say, you, you, it would probably have a setting between like 20 and 80 or something like that. If you set it like 99 or 100, min, min 99, maximum 100, then the magazine basically will almost always uh, spawn in full. Same with uh, water bottles or uh, jerry cans, you know, f fuel cans that way. So, as you can see, so we can play around with the, the ones you're really interested in are nominal and minimum, like that. So we've increased them, or you might want to decrease them. 
Now, the important thing to remember, though, is that when we do do this and we say apply changes, you can't really read it on my screen. You might need a bigger screen, but what it's saying is any changes you make don't happen until the next server restart. And in fact, if we hold our uh, mouse over this, it says edit your types XML directly from here. Changes to the CLE, the central loot economy, after saving won't occur until the next server restart. So we save that. Um, it saves the file in a different folder, which I haven't been able to find yet, but you don't need to worry about it. And then what will happen is when you then do a server restart on your server, so when we go restart server, it will then take those changes and it will then apply them to the new uh, uh, loot economy and those things will then spot start to spawn in. And you can bring it up and you could have a look and you could see how many extra ones there are. Obviously I haven't restarted my server yet, so they're not um, there. Just remember that as well is that the central loot economy is a very complicated beast and just because you put 30 in doesn't mean that 30 will all of, a, all of a sudden spawn in. It might take a while to do it. And also don't go crazy as well when you're doing these sorts of edits. Um, you want to be increasing things by a little bit. You know, I get stories of people contacting me saying, I've, I've, uh, I've set all my assault rifles to 100 and my server seems to be broken. It's like, well, well yeah, you, you've You've broken it so think about maybe doubling things as a maximum and that's things that don't you, that are rare <laughs> you know so things like uh, things that are very very common um, don't double though just add a few of them and then you come in and you can see where it is so that's really cool restart the server it happens and you can have a look and you can have a look around you're kind of doing it on the fly um, the other cool thing you can do is you can actually from this map here directly spawn to something so if i just double click there i'll appear here and then what you can do is if you put on esp tools um you can see we can see where things are and there should be a soda can pepsi so there it is sitting rather nicely there and we can actually see it that way so that's very very cool indeed so that that's kind of the basic way that you could use Let's um, get on this roof so we don't get eaten by a zombie. So that, that's a nice, easy way that you can use Vidana Plus Plus to edit the types of XML to increase or decrease the, the amount of loot on your server in a live environment. So when you're actually live on a server, you know, you could pop in, maybe some of your survivors in your server, we're having a little bit of trouble finding, it, finding epoxy resin. Um, to fix our, our bows could you where are they so you could look and tell them where they are or you might not know so actually there's not that many around and you can quickly just adjust the types of the xml without having to go into the types of the xml however that might well be enough and you could leave it there there's another cool thing you could think about doing as well and that is editing your categories at the same time it's a bit of a shame that the categories aren't included i might contact the mod maker and say could you do that so one of the things you may want to do and this is a little bit more advanced but if you've uh, say got access to uh, ftp and this is how you normally edit um, your servers what you can do is what you could do is at the same time as you're in your server in your ftp program you could go into your mission and you could go into um your files and you could think about changing um, categories now I wouldn't do both things at the same time so what we do is we go into here and we right click this and we say view edit and what it will do is it might ask you a question about where it should uh, load it and it loads it up in um, uh, notepad plus plus so what I would say is let's say let's take that example of bacon right so let's find, so here we have tactical baking cans. Let's say I wanted to add another place. So we could add another usage and we put in usage of uh, village, say to that. There we go. And then what we could then do, we could then save that, restart the server, then go into uh, our vanilla plus plus and have a look for tactical baking cans again to see where they are and what would happen then uh, is you would then see the kind of the change in position of the tactical baking cans and that might be an interesting way of doing that as well so just 
because whenever we're making changes to our servers and we're ser starting and restarting, you really want to che check things, don't you, to see what's physically happening. And this is a really way, good way of doing it. However, what I would suggest you don't do is, if I was doing that edit, changing the um, category using uh, the direct access to the server and then re-uploading it, I wouldn't then change it in here as well. So I wouldn't then load that and then change those. The way that it works in um, uh, FileZilla is you then save that. You go back to FileZilla, and FileZilla say will say the, the file has changed. Do you want to re-upload it? And you say yes, and then you would go, and you would then restart your server, and that would make that change. So just something to to think about going beyond editing the simple nominal and minimum values of items. Perhaps you know use the um, a visual uh, representation representation aspect of Vanilla Plus Plus Admin to uh, show changes to categories that perhaps um, you've had. <laughs> this is my test server, you see, and it gets a lot of abuse on my test server because I'm, I install lots of different mods and do restarts. So currently we have we have bananas spawning underneath trees because I did have the jungle map mod uh, installed at one point. Anyway, that's enough from me. Hopefully you found this video useful. Um, if you have, please, here we go, let's have a look, banana. Banana, get item stats. Oh, they're all around me. Oh, it's because they spawn um, as you're wandering around, don't they, bananas? Um, again, remember, if you're not sure about Vanilla Plus, Vanilla Plus Plus, and want to install it, click on the description, the video in the description below this video. Thank you very much to. I can't remember who made this mod now. Uh, the one for making such a fabulous tool. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, hit like, and see me on the same press subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.